Hi, I'm Jerry Shadle from the Departments of Pathology and Genetics at Yale University. My colleagues and I have completed a study described in our article in Cell that illuminates a new pathway through which mitochondrial stress leads to hearing loss in mice. Our results shed significant new light into maternally inherited deafness and age-related hearing loss in humans, as well as the complex tissue specificity of mitochondrial disease pathology. Mitochondria are essential uh, organelles in your cells that are required for energy production. They also have DNA in that you inherit from your mother. There are many mutations in mitochondrial DNA that you, if you inherit from your mother cause specific human diseases. The specific uh, mutation we studied in, uh, in our investigations is one that causes maternally inherited deafness. And this mutation occurs in uh, these large assemblies in mitochondria called ribosomes. And these ribosomes are important for expressing the genes that the mitochondrial DNA encodes. And specifically, the mutation is in the RNA subunit of the ribosome. And we, what we found is that the mutation itself is not what's causing the disease, but rather it's causing an increase in methylation in the RNA near, in a nearby site. The breakthrough was really our understanding of the enzyme that does that methylation. Uh, when you overexpress that enzyme in cells, it causes the cells to die by a process called apoptosis. What we found is that patient cell lines that have the deafness mutation are also hypermethylated and that they exhibit the same apoptotic or cell death phenotype. So that really led us to put two and two together where we thought we, if we overexpressed this enzyme in mice, we would hypermethylate that molecule and cause deafness modeling the human disease. A major outstanding question in understanding mitochondrial pathology is the often extreme tissue specificity of the diseases that are associated with mitochondrial dysfunction. Uh, this is kind of curious because mitochondria are generally thought of as ubiquitous in all of your cells, so it's, it's sort of not straightforward to understand why specific types of dysfunction lead to tissue specific uh, effects. Uh, the deafness mutation is a hallmark case in point. It's a specific point mutation and the only pathology you get is deafness. What we found is that the diseased mitochondria from patient cell lines that produce these reactive oxygen uh, free radicals that activate a signaling pathway that causes the cells to die. And if you, in our mouse models where we show that this pathway is active, if you deactivate that pathway we can actually spare them from going deaf. There are several implications uh, to our study. First, we have elucidated an interesting pathway by which mitochondrial uh, oxygen radicals are actually acting in a signaling mode as opposed to a damaging mode, which is what they're usually thought of in terms of disease and aging. Second, we have developed a really robust mouse model to study mitochondrial diseases and the tissue specificity that they uh, exhibit. Thirdly, pe humans that have this mutation uh, can go deaf when they're exposed to certain environmental toxins, for example, aminoglycoside antibiotics. So this mouse model will also be instrumental for trying to understand the intersection between the environment and genetics in this disease. Uh, lastly, the pathology that we found in the mice, uh, which is death of certain critical cells in the inner ear, are the same types of pathology that we see in humans when they lose their hearing normally as we age. So if this pathway that we have found is um, uh, the same pathway, uh, this is a new potential way that we can therapeutically uh, uh, intercede and maybe prevent age-related hearing loss.